Mrs. Eugene May of Eagle's Wings Ministries in Dover, Florida. And today I want us to look at the subject of the authority of the believer. This is one of the most misunderstood subjects in the Word of God. God wants us as believers to understand it and to receive the truth of it in this world right now. And if there's ever a time that we needed to walk in the authority of the believer, it is now. And God is giving us the right to do exactly what he has spoken and be the people that he has called us to be in Jesus Christ. In the book of Luke, Jesus is recorded to have sent out 70 of his disciples. And he go, told them to go into the cities around about and to essentially do two things. The first thing that they were supposed to do as they went was to heal the sick. I'm amazed that God is interested in healing the sick. Right now, we are experiencing the COVID-19 virus. That experience is, has traveled through the world. It's touched the whole earth. And unfortunately, many people that we actually know have come down with that particular disease. We have not been touched and we're believing that we will not be touched. But right now, we need to, as a people, be able to stand and walk in the authority that God has given us. Jesus said to those disciples that there's two things I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is go heal the sick. And this is found in Luke chapter 10. He says, in verse nine, heal the sick that are there. He's telling them to go into the cities round about. He says, heal the sick that are there and say to them, the kingdom of God is come near to you. Now, they're to heal the sick and then to preach the gospel of the kingdom, to tell them that the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven has come near to them. So, Oftentimes, we as believers in Jesus Christ, we will go preach the gospel. We'll go do those things, say the things that we need to say, yes, but we don't ever get around to healing the sick and casting out demons and doing the things that Jesus instructed us to do. And so today, as I deal with this subject, I want you to understand that Jesus said the first thing that his disciples were to do was to heal the sick. And then he says, tell them why they are healed. Tell them that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God has come near to them. Now in the scripture, Jesus also said this to his disciples. And you find this in Matthew chapter 10. In Matthew chapter 10, verse seven and eight, he says, as you go, preach, say the kingdom of heaven is at hand, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely give. As believers in Jesus Christ, God wants us to freely give the things that have been given unto us. And so if you have been healed, you have been touched by God, God wants you to take that same anointing and take it and give it away. And so I want to encourage you that that is a part of our responsibility as believers in Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus, going back to Luke chapter 10, Jesus sent out the 70 disciples. They went out and did exactly what Jesus told them to do. And then in verse 17 of that chapter, they came back rejoicing. They came back rejoicing concerning a particular thing that they noticed. They said to Jesus, when we were out there healing the sick and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, we noticed that something very dramatic happened. We noticed that when we used your name, what is that name? That name is Jesus. He says, they say, when we used your name, that demons were cast out. Jesus 
went on and he instructed them concerning some things that he had witnessed. He said in verse 18, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Now it's my personal opinion that he's not talking about what he saw in eternity past, but he's talking about what he saw while his disciples were out there doing what he told them to do, heal the sick, preach the gospel of the kingdom. As they did that, things began to happen. Demons were cast out. But then he goes on to verse 19, and this is the verse I really want us to concentrate on for a few moments. In verse 19, he says, Behold, I give you authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said, I give you authority. Now, this is something that many people refuse to receive that's even scriptural, that we have authority. But that's what he said. He said, I give you authority. Some people say, well, he only gave the authority to the 70. No, the Bible teaches in Mark chapter 16, where Jesus is talking about what he is wanting his church to do. One of the things that he says, he says, I want you to heal the sick. I want you to cast out demons. But he's saying, these signs shall follow those that believe. Let me ask you a question. Are you a believer? Are you a believer today? If you are a believer, then God wants you to understand that whatever he has said in his book applies to you, not just to me, not just to the disciples, the 70 that he had sent out, or those disciples that were with him, the 12. This applies to all of us, and God wants us to receive that. Now, in this passage, it says, behold, I give to you authority. Now we know that that authority is based upon the authority that God the Father gave Jesus the Son. Jesus was given authority. He was given that position. He was given the right to do what he saw the Father do. In fact, there's a place in the scripture where it says, I don't do anything except what I see my Father do. And so Jesus was seeing the Father do everything that the Father did in his normal relationship with people on this earth. And God wants us to understand that he is the one who stands behind us. He was the one who stood behind Jesus and did the work through Jesus. Now, we have authority to speak so that the Father will then do the work through us. It's not Eugene May, it's not whatever your name is, the person doing this alone. No, it's based upon the fact that God has given you the authority to speak in the name of Jesus and to speak to demons and to speak to disease to depart. One of the things that has followed our ministry all of these last 47, almost 48 years that we've been walking in the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the power of the baptism of the Holy Spirit in our lives. One of the things is healing. And we have watched people be healed because of the use of authority, not only the use of authority through us as we prayed and ministered to them, but also the use of authority through themselves. Let me share a story with you. In the early days of our ministry, we were meeting in our home. We had as high as 120 people, 125 sometimes. In our house, we were planning a church. One Thursday evening meeting, the front door opened after we had already begun the praise and worship, and a lady by the name of Annie Watley walked in. She was on the arm of another lady that we knew. 
Annie was blind. We had never met her before, but she was blind. She was had she had to be led up the stairs in to the living room where we were meeting. And as she was led up the stairs, everybody recognized this woman is blind. Now we had all of those people there. And uh, <laughs> someone got up and gave her one of the few seats that were available. People were sitting on the floor. They were sitting on every kind of chair that they could bring with them. And, and so as she sat there, I was doing the leading of the praise and worship because, yes, I am a musician. And so I was doing that. And all of a sudden I stopped and I said, does anybody have a testimony? Well, she didn't have a testimony yet. But I want to tell you what happened. She stood up and she said, I am blind and I came here tonight to receive my sight. She spoke with authority. She knew what she was believing for and she declared it in the name of Jesus. Well, you know, I'm one of these teachers. And so I said, well, I'm going to teach the word a little while and then we'll pray for you. And she sat back down. I believe she would have been healed right then. But I had my agenda. God doesn't always follow our agenda. And I thank God for that. But one of the things that I want you to understand was when I got through teaching, and I think I changed my message to a message on healing. When I got through teaching, I said to her, are you ready to receive your sight? And she just bounded up out of the chair and she felt her way forward. And I took her hand and I prayed the prayer of faith over her. And I commanded sight to come into her eyes. Well, I want to tell you that when I did that, she opened those eyes wide and she didn't see me first. She looked past me and saw a young lady standing by the end of the organ that we had there in our living room. This woman, this young lady had not had an opportunity to even sit during the whole service because of the crowd. And she said, I can see, I can see, and ran and grabbed that woman around the neck and began to hug her. And I want to tell you, things began to happen in that meeting that night because of the authority of the believer, not just the authority that I was walking in as a pastor and as a teacher and as a disciple of Jesus Christ, but also the authority that she had as she made her statement of faith. I want to encourage you today. Speak to the circumstances that you're in. Do not, <laughs> I, I know this may sound trite, but don't roll over and play dead to the devil. God is wanting you to speak. And if it's COVID-19 or if it's cancer or whatever it is that may be bothering you, that's touching your life, Speak to it with authority. Command in the name of Jesus that Satan departs and all of his disease departs. You see, that's how God wants us to live our lives. That's the way I live my life. God wants us to be able to take authority over the enemy. And I say to you today, you have an opportunity to receive from God. In a moment, I want to pray. But there's one thing I want to say before. We're here on Facebook, and I would appreciate it if you like these uh, teachings. Go and check that you like it. But then we're also on YouTube, and you can go to Eugene May on YouTube, and I would appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe because that will help us get known as we teach these words each week. Now, I want to pray for you. We're talking about the authority of the believer. We're talking about you being the person that God wants you to be. And so now I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your word. I thank you for what you have done through your word and what you have spoken to us through your word. 
And I thank you, God, that you have given us authority to stand against the enemy and speak against the enemy, but also speak life. Lord, you said that we have life and that we can have what we speak in faith. And so today, I say to those that are listening and watching this video that this is a time for you to stand in faith and walk in the authority that God has given you as a believer. So in the name of Jesus, receive this. Amen. Until next time, this is Eugene May with Eagle's Wings Ministries saying, God is faithful every time.